Hi, this is Maria. Today I'm going to show you the 2023 Digibujo by Jenny Gollum Designs. This happens to be the floral, but it is available in seven other colors. All the images here on the left I have already added in, but you can add or remove whatever you like from the sticker pack that came with, or from any other sticker pack that you might already have. Let's show you the stickers that came included. I happen to keep these in my photo album, but you could keep them wherever you store your images. All of these are included to help you personalize your journal. And should you choose to use any one of these, you simply select and drag it over, size it to fit, and drop it into place. If you change your mind, simply remove it. Okay, this is your index page. You have a future log, you have 12 custom sections, and you have ways to reach Jenny from here. The future log January through June has a note section and clickable link weeks from here, July through December as well. If we go to October week two through eight and click there, you will see that it took me to week October week two through eight. It happens to be week 40. You also have a link to last week and the link to next week. Let's go back to the index. You have the 12 clickable custom links so I've chosen to put a birthday tracker in custom page one here, but these are made so that you can add in whatever images you want and make these custom. If we go to the top here, 2023, you see the month year at a glance. All of these week are clickable and your months as well are clickable. So if I click October, I will go to October. And if I go to October week 40, you see that I went to October week 40, same place we were before. If I go here to the bottom, 2024 is a year at a glance for 2024, but this one does not have clickable links within the pages. These on the side, of course, do work. These are clickable links, but in here there are no weekly or monthly clicks because this is a 23 planner, not a 24. If we go back to the top and click Extras, you have 24 additional blank links that are usable. I've selected Extra number one. Um, I've put in some dots in here that were included with my planner. Week two, I've selected to put in days, and you can put in whatever you want in here. If we go over here to the months, you will see there all of these months will be laid out the same. Let's go to October. You have your weeks that are clickable the same way that we saw with this clickable link. Let's go back to here, October. You have days, so let's go to October 2, October 2nd, and I have added in a daily, again, included from my planner. Go back to October. You have a month at a glance, again, included with my planner. These are simply images that I've brought in. If I just scroll I go to October 1, then you have a weekly, then October 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the next week. So you will always have a week, all the days, the next week, and then all the days. And that's the way it works with all of the months. You have this section gives you blanks that you can add in and modify your planner without upsetting your links. So if I wanted to add note paper, this one here, after 
the calendar page of October, I would simply select it like I just did. I'm going to go up here to the four dots. Note show selects in blue the item that is shown on screen. So if I long press there, I want to copy. Then I go to wherever it is that I want to add that copy image. I want it after this page and before this page. So I'm going to click my four squares. It's highlighted in blue here at the bottom. I'm going to long press and I'm going to paste below. So now I have in blue the page that I'm on and above it is October where I just was. October now has a new lined page and then the month at a glance. If you choose to remove a page, simply click those squares. Again, the blue is highlighting the page that you're on. Long press and move to trash. If you do it in this way, you will not alter your links. Okay, so we're back to the way it was. I removed the extra page. So we got that one from here. So all of these will work the exact same way if you want to add them anywhere in your planner. The next section here is your trackers. You have 24 additional links for trackers. So if you click one, you have a habit tracker built in. After that, tracker number two and forward are all blanks so that you can add in your own trackers. You do have trackers included in your sticker pack, but you can certainly use any tracker that you have. Your next section here is checkboxes. Again, 24 custom links. And all of these will look like this with check marks. You do have a list index within the section so if you click that you go back to here actually you have the same thing here with trackers if you click away you have a trackers index that will take you back to here so we've looked at this one we've looked at this one we've looked at check marks this one is notes and you have 24 additional clickable links here. In the first one I've chosen to add in the image of all the available covers that are offered for this planner. You've got floral which is the one I have, natural, charcoal, leather, watercolor, cherry, and linen as options for this planner. So you don't have to be flowering like the one that I have here in the front cover. But honestly, the only place you see the flowers is here at the edge. So if you chose a charcoal, you would have a dark outline here and the dark cover on the front. So you have 24 available notes links, 24 list links, 24 tracker list, you have blank pages that you can add anywhere. You have an additional 24 extras link up here. If you go back to your index, you have 12 custom links here. That's a lot of links and a lot of customization. So this planner is made to be completely custom so that you're not locked into a cookie cutter planner. If you like to customize, this is the planner for you. Thanks for watching.